Hey folks, welcome back to Selenium Web Driver series. In this video, let's see how we can create Maven project in Eclipse and how we can add the dependencies. So let's get started. So in your Eclipse, okay, go and then click on create the new project. You can either create from here or else if you get option here also you can create. So from file, new project. Now we have already installed Maven, right? In the previous video, we have learned how to install the Maven and why it is used for. Okay. So and click on Maven project and then click on next. Okay. And then here create a simple project. Okay. Uh, so the default location it will pick and then click on next. So here you have to add your group ID and artifact ID. It is similar to what your company ID and then your project ID can be. Okay. So let's say group ID as STH. Okay. And then artifact ID as a uh, Selenium web driver. Okay. And then let the version be the default and uh, not to fill any other things and then just click on finish. So now a folder got created. So the project got created. So here we can see that there are multiple folders that are available, right? So first is SRC main Java. So here is where all your utilities and then common methods, all those we can write it in this folder. Okay. So main resource here, you can create if you have any, uh, Excel or CSV files, all that will go into this folder. And we will write our test case in this SRC test Java. Okay, this is where we will write our test. And then SRC test resources here, the same like we can store your, uh, you can store your resources like Excel file or CSV, all that you can file any if you want to refer any of those files. Okay. And then uh, this is JRE. Okay, dependency and uh, apart from that we have SRC file which contains like main and then test and then target is where your output files will be uh, created. So which means that all your test results all that will be stored here and here the main and important uh, thing is form.xml. Okay, so this is the file where we have to add all our dependencies. Okay, so right now you can see that we don't have any uh, dependency. Like it, it has just created, uh, it has just created whatever we have created, uh, artifact ID, and then the group ID is present here. So what we will do is we will create a file and then execute this. Okay, just copy this. We'll create a class. So let's give something like selenium demo one. Okay. And then select this public static void main and then click on finish. Okay. So now, um, so what we'll do is we copied full, but we'll copy only this portion. So if I put this here and then you can see that we are seeing errors. So it is not giving an option to import the Chrome driver. Why? Because um, so here we need to add that particular dependency to pom.xml. So how we can add to pom.xml is just go to Maven repository. So if you go to um, if you just search for Maven repository, okay, Maven repository. So here is the Apache Maven repository. Yes. So here is where the Maven repository is. And then you can actually search for your related whatever uh, dependency you need. For example, if you want to log certain details, then you can use log4j. Okay. If you are, uh, if you want to automate with, uh, uh, you know, certain like Apache POI, there are a lot of dependencies are there. So all that you can uh, download it or you can have that dependency from here. So suppose now I want Selenium 
okay dependency so let's say selenium java dependency i want so it will list out all the selenium java related what we want is this okay so these are all not required so we need this you can see mongodb java driver dependencies java servlet api dependency there are a lot of you will get okay so based on um, what we need we can actually uh, go to that and then add that dependency click on this and then you can see there are a lot of dependencies listed so this is the latest one you can see the october 30th is the last release date so uh, go in and then copy this dependency okay come back to your uh, pom.xml okay and under this add something called dependencies okay dependencies under that you have to add your dependency so you can add your dependency like this okay and then save it okay as soon as you save okay so maven dependency for folder will be created so here we will not we are not seeing that maven uh, this thing right so what you can do is go to project and then click on build project okay and then you can see that maven dependencies this folder got created so as soon as you create that and then save it okay and then just mouse over on this now you can see that this particular import option is available okay so basically what happens why do we need to use this maven is in the previous example we saw that uh, i mean in previous video basically we saw that why we need maven because when you are working as a team so here you saw that uh, in the maven there are lot of new releases coming uh, will be coming okay so earlier 4.25 was there okay now 4.26 is there so now you have to download the latest dependency what happens is if you are working on one project okay and you might be outdated sometimes okay the other person he might have seen this and then updated his dependency so for the help of this maven if that person updates his dependencies so as soon as you pull the latest changes you your maven dependency folder also will get updated with the latest version so that is the main reason it is important uh, to have maven as a build project there are other uh, build uh, tools as well but maven is used basically for this selenium so we will fix this add rows okay and then now we will run this yes okay so perfectly fine the same script worked fine but what happens it was not able to identify right so what happens if i just remove this dependency for a minute so also maven dependency is there okay even if i execute there are chances of it getting executed but now maven is removed okay so now you can see that it throw an error exception so uh, no class found okay so which means that the dependency is not there so that's the reason it failed so now you can add the dependency and then maven a uh, dependency folder will be created if it doesn't create just go and then build project okay so now your maven folder will be generated so this is how you can add your dependency and start work maven okay so hope uh, you learned how we can add dependency and create maven project in the upcoming video we will write our tests so thank you for watching bye bye